Hi there! Welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to show you how to make an alarm clock in Python. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos on my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video about programming a digital clock, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now, I will show you how to program the alarm clock. For this program, you don't need to install anything with pip but you do need a sound file in WAV format. If you have a sound file in any other format, use the application Audacity or the online converter Convertio. I've put a link in the description box below and I've shown instructions on how to use Convertio. Let's open Python from the Windows programs list. Click Start. Python and then ideally Python. Let's open a new file to start programming. File menu, new file. Let's close the shell and let's maximize the Python programming window. Let me make the screen bigger so you can see better. Before we start programming, let me show you the final result. I'm going to set an alarm for 2 minutes. You can see that it asks for your confirmation. To set the alarm, type Y or Yes. If you don't want to set the alarm now, type N or No. This time, I'm going to type no. And then I'm going to press enter. You can see it has gone back to the previous state to set an alarm. I'm going to set an alarm for two minutes again. I'm going to type yes and then enter. I'm going to time lapse this. Now you can see that there are 10 seconds left. Now you can hear the sound of the alarm. Let's close this. And select close program. And let's cancel this. Let's close this. Now that I've shown you the program, Let's start programming it. In this program, there are nine steps. Step one, importing the modules. In this program, we are going to be using four modules. The turtle module, the time module, the system module, and the wind sound module. To use them, we have to import them first. Type import turtle, import time, import system. Now, instead of typing system, we have to type SYS. Now let's import wind sound, import wind sound. Now, Wind sound is a long word to type, so we're going to shorten it to WS. Type as WS. Now let's move on to step 2 creating the screen. I'm going to call my screen Win. Win equals turtle dot capital S screen open brackets close brackets I'm going to set the background color to white win dot bg color open brackets open quotation marks white close quotation marks and close brackets 
Now let's set the size. Win dot setup open brackets width equals 300 and height equals 200 close brackets make sure there's a comma in between I'm going to add a title to the screen win dot title open brackets open quotation marks now we're creating the screen for the digital clock so I'm going to make the title digital clock close quotation marks and then close brackets if you wanted another title you could replace digital clock with whatever your title was now let's turn off the screen's updates to stop it from flickering all the time type win dot tracer open brackets zero close brackets now let's move on to step three creating the pens I'm going to be creating three pens so to know which one I'm using I'm going to number them I'm going to call my first pen pen one pen one equals turtle dot capital T turtle open brackets close brackets now let's set the animation speed pen one dot speed open brackets zero close brackets this is the fastest animation speed pen one dot pen up we've put the pen up so it doesn't draw any lines and now I'm going to hide the pen pen one dot hide turtle open brackets close brackets if we didn't hide the turtle then we would see an arrow or a turtle drawing the lines. Now let's move on to the second pen. Pen 2 equals turtle dot capital T turtle open brackets close brackets pen 2 dot speed open brackets zero close brackets pen 2 dot pen up open brackets close brackets pen to dot hide turtle open brackets close brackets now let's move on to pen 3 pen 3 equals turtle dot turtle open brackets close brackets pen 3 dot speed open brackets zero close brackets pen three dot pen up open brackets close brackets pen three dot hide turtle open brackets close brackets now let's move on to step four creating a time variable We're going to call it capital T time because we already imported the time module so we can't use a small letter T for time so time equals small letter T time dot string instead of writing string we type str format instead of typing format we type F time time stays the same open brackets, open quotation marks now we have to start with the hours type percent %h colon now we have to do the minutes percent %m colon now let's do the seconds percent %s close quotation marks and close brackets make sure h, m and s are all capital Now let's move on to step 5. Display the current time and wait for input.
Now, the input is going to be inside the shell. So, we're going to print everything. So, first of all, I'm going to print a blank line. Print. Open brackets. Open quotation marks. Close quotation marks and close brackets. Now we need to display the current time. Print. Open brackets. Open quotation marks. Currently, it is. Close quotation marks. Plus time. Plus a full stop close quotation marks and close brackets I'm going to call my variable alarm alarm equals input open brackets open quotation marks enter the time you want to be notified in hour hour colon minute minute colon second second format colon space close quotation marks and close brackets now let's print a blank line again print open brackets open quotation marks close quotation marks and close brackets now let's move on to step six creating the confirmation So I'm going to print you will be notified at and the time. Print open brackets open quotation marks you will be notified at close quotation marks plus alarm plus open quotation marks full stop close quotation marks and close brackets. Now, if you remember, we created a variable called alarm as the input. So we're basically copying it here. Now let's create the confirmation. I'm going to call it yes underscore no. This is going to be a variable. Yes no equals. This is going to be a string. Type str. Open brackets. Input. Open brackets open quotation marks would you like to set this alarm open square brackets y slash n these are the options that I'm giving them close square brackets space close quotation marks and close brackets and then close brackets again type dot lower open brackets close brackets now let's print a blank line print open brackets open quotation marks close quotation marks and close brackets now let's move on to step 7 creating the functions I'm going to call my first function draw clock so it, we have to define it define instead of typing define we type def draw underscore clock open brackets close brackets colon enter let's make the pen color gray pen one dot pen color open brackets open quotation marks gray close quotation marks and close brackets make sure gray is spelled g r a y now let's set the pen size to 5 pen1 dot pen size open brackets 5 close brackets I'm going to set the pen's x coordinate to minus 75 x equals pen1 dot x coordinate instead of typing x coordinate we type x core equals minus 75 and I'm going to set the y coordinate to 45. y equals pen1 dot y coordinate 
instead of typing y coordinate, we type y co equals 45. Now I'm going to make the pen go to those positions. Pen 1 dot go to open brackets x comma y close brackets. Now let's put the pen down. Pen 1 dot pen down open brackets close brackets. Now let's use a for loop to draw a rectangle around the time for i in range open brackets to close brackets colon enter pen one dot forward instead of typing forward we type fd open brackets 150 close brackets and we turn right 90 degrees pen one dot rt instead of typing right we type rt open brackets 90 close brackets pen one dot forward open brackets 50 steps close brackets they're going to turn right 90 degrees again pen one dot right open brackets 90 degrees close brackets now let's put the pen up pen one dot pen up open brackets close brackets and let's put pen 2 dot pen up pen 2 dot pen up open brackets close brackets we put the pen 2 up because this is the function even though we put it up while creating the pen we have to put it up because it is a function now let's go to the top left corner of that other rectangle which we drew so uh, type pen 2 dot go to open brackets x minus 15 comma y plus 15 close brackets now let's put the pen color to black pen 2 dot pen color open brackets open quotation marks black close quotation marks and close brackets and then I'm going to set the pen size to 25 pen 2 dot pen size open brackets 25 close brackets now let's put the pen down pen 2 dot pen down open bracket close brackets now let's create the for loop for i in range open brackets 2 close brackets colon enter pen Two dot forward open brackets 180 steps close brackets they're going to turn right to degrees they're going to turn 90 degrees right pen 2 dot right open brackets 90 close brackets pen 2 dot forward open brackets 80 close brackets pen 2 dot right open brackets 90 degrees close brackets now let's make the clock work so we have to type define clock underscore time open brackets close brackets this is a function I'm creating colon enter I'm going to set the pen color to red I'm going, I'm, I'm going to use pen 3 pen 3 dot pen color open brackets open quotation marks red close quotation marks and close brackets I'm going to make the pen go to the center of the screen pen 3 dot go to open brackets 0 comma 0 close brackets now I'm going to clear the pen pen 3 dot clear open brackets close brackets so this gets rid of any lines that were drawn now let's write the hour minute and second pen 3 dot write open brackets h plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus m plus open quotation marks colon close quotation marks plus s comma space font equals 
open brackets, open quotation marks, I'm going to make the font D. You can use normal fonts like Arial, but you can also use letters. Close quotation marks, comma, space. And I'm going to set the size to 25, comma, space, open quotation marks, normal, close quotation marks, close brackets, comma, space, align, equals, open quotation marks, center, close quotation marks, and close brackets. So now I'm going to put the pen up, pen3, dot, pen up, open brackets, close brackets, I'm going to go to 0, minus 32, pen3, dot, go to, open brackets, 0, comma, minus 32, close brackets, now I'm going to put the pen down, pen3, dot, pen down, open brackets, close brackets, and then we're going to write the day, pen3, dot, write, open brackets, d, comma, space, font, equals, open brackets, open quotation marks, d, close quotation marks, comma, space, 15, I'm going to set the font size, comma, space, open quotation marks, normal, close quotation marks, and close brackets, now let's set the alignment, align, equals, open quotation marks, center, close quotation marks, and close brackets. Make sure center is spelt C-E-N-T-E-R. Now let's move on to steps 8 and 9, which are the main loops. The first main loop is going to be an if loop. So, if yes underscore no equals equals open quotation marks and close brackets, close quotation marks, or yes underscore no equals equals open quotation marks no close quotation marks, colon, enter, I'm going to print a blank line, print, open brackets, open quotation marks, close quotation marks, and close brackets, I'm going to print the current time, print, open brackets, open quotation marks, currently, it is, close quotation marks, plus, alarm, this is the variable we created in step 4, plus, open quotation marks, full stop, close quotation marks, and then close brackets. And I'm going to create the input again, so, alarm, capital A, alarm, equals input, open brackets, open quotation marks, enter the time, you would like to be notified in hour hour colon minute minute colon second second format colon space close quotation marks and then close brackets now let's print another blank line print open brackets open quotation marks close quotation marks and close brackets now let's print the time they will be notified at print open brackets, open quotation marks, you will be notified at close quotation marks, plus alarm, plus open quotation marks, full stop, close quotation marks, and then close brackets, and we need to create the yes no string input, yes underscore no equals string, instead of typing string, we type str, open brackets, input, open brackets, open quotation marks, would you like to set this line? Open 
open square brackets, y slash n close square brackets, space close quotation marks, and then close brackets and close brackets again, dot lower, open brackets, close brackets, and then we need to print another blank line. Print, open brackets, open quotation marks, close quotation marks and close brackets. Now let's move on to the second main loop. This is going to be a while loop. While yes underscore no equals equals open quotation marks y close quotation marks or yes underscore no equals equals open quotation marks yes close quotation marks colon. I'm going to create another while loop inside of this while loop while capital T time it does not equal to instead of typing does not equal to we have to type exclamation equals capital A alarm colon now we need to define time again time equals time dot string format time open brackets open quotation marks percent h make sure h is capital colon percent m capital m colon percent s make sure s is capital close quotation marks and then close brackets we mentioned h m and s in one of the functions over here inside clock time so we have to define h m s and d so let's define them all h equals time dot string format time open brackets open quotation marks percent h close quotation marks and close brackets make sure h is capital m equals time dot string format time open brackets open quotation marks percent m close quotation marks and close brackets make sure m is capital s equals time dot string format time open brackets open quotation marks percent s make sure s is capital close quotation marks and close brackets d equals time dot string format time open brackets open quotation marks percent capital D close quotation marks and close brackets now I'm going to draw the clock clock underscore time open brackets close brackets draw underscore clock open brackets close brackets let's pause the screen for one second so type time dot sleep open brackets one close brackets so this delays the whole program for one second this makes it faster and smoother and then type win dot update remember to replace win with whatever your variable was for the screen and make sure you have an open brackets and close brackets after update now let's create another loop it's going to be an if loop if time equals equals alarm colon enter ws dot play capital P play capital S sound make sure there's no space in between play and sound open brackets open quotation marks alarm capital clock sound close quotation marks comma space ws dot s n d underscore file name make sure s n d underscore file name is all capitals and then close brackets then press enter enter backspace 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 and then win dot main loop open brackets close brackets now we have completed the program. 
So I'm going to save this file menu, save. I'm going to save it in my programs folder and I'm going to create a folder called alarm clock. I'm going to call this program alarm clock as well and I'm going to click save. Now if the timer runs out it won't play the sound right now there will be an error. This is because we haven't actually put the sound inside the same folder so we need to put the sound file inside the same folder as the program. So let's do that. Go to the search bar and type file explorer and then click on it and then navigate to where your sound file is here is my sound file I'm going to copy it right click and then select copy and then navigate to your Python program folder so go to this PC then go to OS and then scroll down and click on users and then click on the computer name of yours and then click on the view menu up here and then click on hidden item inside the show hide tab check it and then you'll see that there is a new folder called app data click on it and then click on local and then scroll down and then you'll see a folder called programs and then click on python and then python again and then you'll see your folder and then put it inside with your other program I'm going to do right click paste now you can see that I have the sound file in my folder now let's open that now let's close file explorer and let's run this program run run module let's set a timer for two minutes I'm going to type yes and then enter then I'm going to see where my digital clock is I'm going to time lapse this to save time Now, now you can hear the alarm clock sound. Let's close the digital clock. And let's close the shell. So let's move back into the screen again. Let's close that. Let's kill the program. Click on OK. Now that you've seen that it works, let's close this Python program window. In my future videos, I'll be posting tutorials to make stopwatches, timers, and games. I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click that red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at 4 at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!